us what actually happened today. What was your plan and what was the, what was the problem actually? Well, as any commander, I like to go and visit my troops on the ground, particularly if they're in difficult and dangerous circumstances. And uh, Bihach, San, is a place I have not been to for nearly four months. And I felt I ought to go and see uh, Colonel Lumia and the Bangladeshi Battalion and Colonel Salim, who I've not met since he deployed here. We put in normal clearances. And I'm afraid it has been a, a snub uh, for the people of this country and for the people on whose behalf we're working, which is we're uh, working for peace, that we were not able to get through. And it's been a humiliation for the uh, civilian uh, authorities who gave us clearances to go through, but were clearly overridden by their military structure. And I feel that is uh, sad for this country, where you get circumstances like this arising. And it makes our job as peacekeepers very difficult indeed if we're having to work in these confused circumstances. The Croatian Serb military stopped at the first checkpoint after the Croatian Serb political leadership uh, gave you permission to pass, is that it? Well, we certainly had uh, authority from Kanin to pass, and the, uh, the block was certainly on the, on the Ukrainian side, that's absolutely so, by the military. And I had, it, I had a long conversation with the, um, uh, the so-called core commander of the area, and I pointed out to him in no uncertain terms how he's, uh, he's destroying the peace process in this country by acting in such an arbitrary and stupid fashion.